On this week's MetPy Monday, we'll show you how to stop typing deg C and actually start typing or printing out the degree symbol in your code so that your temperatures can look reasonable in your code output. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week we're going to talk about something that seems very simple, but I don't see very many people doing it, which is to actually use the degree sign in the output of your program or on your plots. We see a lot of people typing deg C or degree Celsius or lots of things when it would be very easy to actually create the degree symbol. Now I'm going to show you six different ways to do it and roughly in order from the ones I like the least to the ones I like the most. And I think you'll see why, but any of them do work. Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to unicodetable.com and find the code for my symbol. This is the hexadecimal number that represents the degree sign. In this case, the hexadecimal number for degree sign is 00B0. We can also see that down here. There's the HTML, CSS, and so on. It's also handy to go down and read the description. For example, that temperature is to be separated, the number by a space. Okay, now we can pull up our programmer calculator, and we can also see that hex B0 is the same as decimal 176, and we'll see how that's useful here in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop into a notebook, and look at how we could do this six different ways. I'm going to assign a variable t to be 24 just to represent my temperature. Now the first way, and probably my least favorite way, is to actually type the degree symbol into your print statement or to your caption or whatever. So I'm going to use an f string for this one. Print my temperature, a space, and then I'm going to press alt followed by the code for this symbol. So I'm going to press and hold alt. 0, 1, 7, 6 is the decimal code. Let up from alt. And now we have typed the degree symbol. Follow that by C. And there we go. 24 degrees Celsius. I don't like that just because I don't like typing Unicode characters right into my code, but there's nothing wrong with doing it. Okay, if you're in the notebook, you can actually use LaTeX and the display function. Or if you're in Matplotlib, you can use LaTeX. So ipython.display, we're going to import the display and LaTeX classes. Going to call display LaTeX. Go ahead and close those. And then if you're familiar with its syntax, you'll know that we can put inside the dollar signs a superscript of the circle symbol. Follow that with a C. And there we go. Now we get a LaTeX rendering. You can also do this with equations. So that's pretty handy to have on your tool belt. Okay, now moving into some of the methods that I like a little bit more. Now this one I don't like as much because it's lengthy, but it certainly works well. Print temperature, a space, the character decimal code 176, which we discovered is the same as hex 00B0, which is the code for the degree symbol, followed by a C. And now let's see what happens if we do this. There's a space. Here. So there's a space here, and a space here, and a space here. We want to specify that the separator should be nothing. Again, this works. It's just a little long, a little verbose. All right, so we can print again with an F string, temperature T, 
backslash or escape X means that this is a hexadecimal number following. B0, which is the same as 00, zero B0, zero, we can omit those leading zeros. And then C for Celsius. And that works as well. We get the, the same output. But you do have to have that syntax that maybe some people aren't so familiar with. All right, let's do another F string, temperature. Now we're going to use the escape U for Unicode. We'll go ahead and type the leading zeros this time, just because we can, to show you that it doesn't make any difference. So 00B0 followed by a C for Celsius, and there we go. But we can make this even easier on ourselves because it turns out there's also a Unicode variant for degrees Celsius as well as Fahrenheit. There's not one for Kelvin because Kelvin is not in degrees. 2103. 2103 is degree Celsius with a nice serifed C there. And you'll notice the degree symbol is a little bit thinner outline. And I like the lack of space between it a little more. I like the way this one prints quite well, actually. Now, the way that I prefer the most, the way that is the most readable in code, I think, is by using the name of the symbol. So since we're going to mix it up a little bit here, we'll use a, an older way to put our variable in our string, the, the more C-like way. Backslash capital N, and then in brackets, degree sign C, and percent T for the variable that we're going to replace there. So there we've got our degree symbol, followed by C. And lastly, we'll go back to an F string to prove to ourselves that named works there as well. Degree Celsius. And there we go. So there are six different ways that I can think of off the top of my head that you can use to display the degree symbol to properly annotate your temperature unit. So there's no reason not to do it. Now, again, some of these I prefer more than others, but everybody has their own unique coding style and coding preference, and really any of them are going to accomplish the same thing. So I hope that you found this useful and that you'll finally start using the degree symbol in your output, and I'll see you on next week's MatPy Monday.